Hi everyone. Last time we've created the Arju boy using ESP8266 and we have learned how to set up the hardware. Now we will continue on with the software setup. To do this, you need to browse to my GitHub. The link will be printed in the description. So once you're in my GitHub, you'll be able to look at all the files I have. The most important thing to do is to click this button, clone and download. So you will download the zip file. And then you can check whether the zip file is there. Right, so this is the zip file. Once you have the zip file, you can go ahead and open up Arduino IDE. Make sure you have already set up the Arduino board manager with this package for ESP8266. I have uh, shown you in my first chapter, so just keep that in mind. And then we can now install the master. Click on sketch, include library and add zip library. Then we we'll look at search the file that we just downloaded, which is ESP8266 R2.2. Master.zip. And then we choose. After a while, the library will be added to your library folder. So let's take a look and check whether it's already uploaded. So your library. library and the driver the i2c library so let's download this one first so this is the thing plots OLED library and again we'll use clone and download zip okay and let's go back 
and continue to download this. Let's show I2C library. Again, click the clone and download button. Download C file. Just download it. And then we can go back to the general IDV. Repeat what we did before when we created the master for our Drupal library. And now we click exit button, exit file. Go back and choose the file that we just downloaded. Which is this one. Let's choose it. Library edit. And then through the other one. Just this one. Okay, again, library edit. So after that, we can start loading the games. As you know, libraries, and then we have the USB 5266 at 2 master. And then we have the examples. We can load one of the examples. For example, this. Echo Raiders, my favorite. And open up ES3266 Pickle Raiders, a version of Invaders. Let's open the source file for Arduino IDE. Now we've opened up the Pico Raider here. And we will Connect the USB cable. It's already an existing game there. Okay, and then we'll. Uh, Click this upload button. So the upload completed, and then you can see Pico Vader coming up. You can press the reset button to restart the game. So for my Pico Raider, I have another version that works on pedal. And let me download this one. So let me open up the one with pedals. It's this one. with pedals. Let me upload it. Okay. Now you can see this one has a pedal option, so I press button B for pedal, and then I can use my pedal to shoot.
Let, let me demonstrate to you another one. Called E-Wait. I can open up the Z-Wait program. It's over here. And then click this button to upload. The game is uploaded. Okay, just game over. Let me show you how I can tune the uh, frequency. So I just tune it using this value, divided by three or divided by one, because the ESP8266 runs faster than the 80 Mega 32 U4, the original Arduino board. So we need to slow down the duration. If I don't slow down, let me see, divided by one. Let's see what happened. Let me upload it and let's hear what will be the case. Okay. Sounds is a, a bit high. Doesn't sound like a bomb. And the explosion is not that good. Okay, so let's try this time to change the value to divide by two. See what happens. Let's up low again. Now it seems a bit better. Okay, now let's change to divided by four. And let's see what happens. Seems to be okay. 
So that's it. That's how you can uh, load the game into the ESP8266 Arduino Boy. Besides these games, you can go to the community forum for ArduinoBoy.com and find any ArduinoBoy games written for the original hardware and try your luck converting them into running on ESP8266. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and send to your friends to subscribe too. Thank you. Bye now.